Hello, Hoosters. How y'all doing today? Thank y'all so much for looking at the video yesterday. Thank you for joining me today. Let's say prayers and I'm going to tell y'all what we're going to be eating, right? Give me a moment. Thank you, Father God, for this beautiful best blessing day. Father God, I ask that uh, you uh, bless Manila. Uh, my co-worker said that the volcano will erupt again. They had three earthquakes. My God, I, I just ask that you have mercy up on that country. Forgive us all for the sins we've committed against you, Lord, by any word, deed, or thought. Bless our family coming in and going out. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. And I continue to pray for the YouTube community that we can come together and just love and encourage each other. In the name of Jesus, I pray amen and amen. And I love you, Lord. So, y'all, I got a, I got a breakfast mukbang. So, we're going to do cranberry, of course. So, come on in. Take a seat. Bring your cocktail, your Kool-Aid, your water, your cranberry. Bring your breakfast food, your snacks, or a dinner. Let's sit down and chit-chat. We're going right back to my life, my story. Life goes on. Clink, 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 clink. Sip, sip. The good stuff. Mwah. Cranberry juice is good. So, y'all, I'm bringing back Spicy hot white jelly. I'm going to be eating. This is um, Natalie's Slammin' Jalapeno, y'all. We will be eating that tonight. And we will be having the peach pepper because I wanted some of that, y'all. So, yeah, we'll taste that together. We have pan sausage, we have biscuits, and we have grits, y'all. Them grits look so white here. We have scrambled eggs, and y'all, I put uh, green onions in my scrambled eggs. If y'all never tasted it, taste it. So let's get started. I can't wait too long. We need a little bit more butter on our... Y'all look at all that smoke. Y'all see that smoke? I don't. Oh, I just can't wait, y'all. Time to wind it down for me to get my new camera. I'm gonna be like y'all when I grow up. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's open up these jellies and we can get this party started. I'm thinking with the last, the next two jellies I'm going to taste, what I'm going to eat it with. Y'all can give me some ideas. Mm. Give me some ideas. Some chicken biscuits. Well, you know, I'm eating a whole lot of chicken. I think that's why I did this tonight. Okay, y'all. The first one is Natalie's Slam and Jelly. Look at that. Oh, don't that look so good? Let's do it. I didn't want no butter. I did not want any butter on my biscuits. Because I'm going to just taste this jelly. Take a bite. Mmm, yum, yum. Give me some. Yum, yum. Give me some. Let's go in, y'all. That is mm. I taste the heat with the peppers. I taste them like some peach or something. Natalie's slamming jalapeno. Mm. 
Whatever it is, it's good. Mm-hmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. Have y'all bought some yet? Have y'all got on Facebook and found them? Have y'all emailed them? My spicy hot wife jelly at yahoo.com. Once again, I'm gonna put it down in the description box. Let's eat, y'all. Look at these fluffy eggs. Or these green onions. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Those are some good eggs. Really good eggs. Mm-hmm. This one is good. I can't. Oh, wait a minute. I think I got it messed up. Wait a minute. That's what it is. This is not Natalie's. So now I mean, this, that's why I, was, I taste some peach or something. Y'all crazy me. This is the peach pepper jelly. That's what it is. That, I told you, I, told, I, told, I, I was tasting some peach or something, but that was the wrong jelly, y'all. So I have the peach pepper. It is peachy and pepper and it's good. Oh, y'all see, I'm uh, having breakfast food. So I thought I would get in my breakfast roll. <laughs> mm. Nice creamy grits. Mm. Ain't nothing good. You know, I you know what I like grits all around here. But in the cold of the of the weather, they are really good all by themselves. Sometimes a little cheese. And then every down there. So I'll take you some good old garlic shrimp and put it over them grits. Ooh, mm mm mm. You talking about eating? Good. Okay, y'all. Let's get started. My last story was about a relationship that I had to really fight back. And, you know, I told you the police wanted to take me to jail, but the lady cop saved me. Then I was single. I told you it's just all about me and my children. I think that was like for three years, y'all. And I was, we were good. They were growing older and becoming little young men. And that was just Mrs. Barrett's bakery shop. Well, not a shop. It was like a store. You know, like one of them um, little baths uh, shop. And they had the old bread and the old cinnamon buns. You can go and buy them for like 25 cent a bag. And so, they had knew us so well because they used to take the boys there a lot. You know, especially to help her when she needed help or... When they did really good and did chores, I would take them there on a Saturday to let them pick their one favorite thing that they wanted. And one day, I got a call from the lady of the store, y'all. I was so disappointed with what I heard. Y'all, I don't know that apple pie had. Uh-uh, that's sassy. A sassy apple. That was good. This is gonna be one of another favorite, y'all. This is good. She 
จอมันชิเซ่ไม่ซื้อ I really hate to tell you this, she say, but your two oldest boys and three other boys ran through my shop and snatched and grabbed. That broke my heart. And it was a wonderful thing because I was off that day. So you know what I did? I went to the school. Mm -hmm. They did it on the way to school. They were not taught that way. I don't know if the other boys coerced them to do it with them. I don't know. I didn't care. All I know is that they did it. We don't do that. So I went to the school. To each of their class to let them know that I known about it and they was gonna face the consequences once they got home. Mm -hmm. When they got home, they were punished and punished. I made them do some cutting of the yards, people, other people yard. Mm -hmm. We didn't have, we didn't have, we didn't have those games and stuff, so we never had to take the games away, anything like that. But you know, boys did not like being confined to their rooms. Hmm. They was confined to their room afterwards. Mm -hmm. But they had to pay her back. And they tried to blame it on the other little boys, but I'm like, you, you, you knew it was wrong though, and you still did it. You're just as guilty. But they say guilty by association. Mm -hmm. You are guilty by association. Why is this uh, blinking on and off? So they did not, they did not like that punishment. All right, here goes Natalie's y'all. So, that was this program. Now, some people say I shouldn't have did it, but you're not raising my children. Yeah, I see that Richie now. Well, I see them peppers, y'all. And Natalie slamming. Honey, they had this kind of like scare straight program downtown. And I took them there to let them talk to some of them prisoners. Mm -hmm. Scared the shit out of them. Mm -hmm. So that's what I had to deal with then. But they, they straightened up at that moment. Hmm. And Natalie's, I think that's a nap, y'all. I think Natalie's gonna have to be one of my favorites too. This Natalie slamming hot, slamming. Jalapeno, mm-hmm. The jalapeno is slamming and it's good. I just tell y'all again, when you put sweet and spicy together, you, you just don't do no wrong with it. Cause it just it just it just complements one another. You know, like a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. That pepper good. That's good. Oh, yeah. 
my taste buds are happy. Mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, with all the flavors that they have, surely you can pick your one favorite, or two favorite, or three favorites. Because out of these six, I'm already at three. <laughs> The sassy. Of course, now, Natalie's Slam and Jalapeno. This is really good. But this peach pepper, mm-hmm, it, it's winning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is good. And I'm just knowing that there is some kind of food or something that these jellies will pair up so well with. Mm. Make you lick your fingers. Mm -hmm. So anyway, y'all. <clears throat> I started hanging around with this a girl. She's a little bit younger than me. And she started inviting me out to this place way on the north side, y'all. Another little juke joint. I met this little cutie patootie, but we didn't have no relationship, though, y'all. But we dated. He was fun to hang out with. You know, sometimes you just meet somebody that they, you just cool and hang out with. Uh-huh. So, my friend had met this guy. And, well, if I, well, I don't want y'all to judge me because she really wasn't a friend. She was more of an acquaintance than a friend. Well, and I don't believe in doing this either, y'all, but this was way back when. It doesn't make me who I am today. We was at the club. And I had gone to the ladies' room. And he was coming out the men's room as I was coming out the ladies' room. Y'all, I don't know what I was thinking. And I don't know what he was thinking. All I know is that he threw me up against that wall right there in the middle, y'all. <laughs> that wall that separate men from women. That man kissed me like I ain't never been kissed before. <laughs> I felt awful. Because I allowed it. And I participated. Well, he was a truck driver. And he invited me to go get in that 18-wheeler with him. You know, he had a bed on there. Nice 18-wheeler, too. You know, and I've always been a girl of a truck. Huh? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at them peppers, y'all. Mm-hmm. That's Natalie's slamming jalapeno. Get you some. I got up in that truck with that man. On an off day, though, y'all. You talking about a conversation out of this world? Mm. This is so good. It has the right amount of everything, y'all. It just marries so well. Um, I'm sorry. 
That was the best trip I ever had. We ain't do nothing else. Because I was trying to tell myself that I wasn't right. But something about him and I was right. And so we kept seeing each other. We end up living together. Yeah, we sure did. <laughs> we could. We finally got around to doing the nasty. Oh God. Mm-hmm. Mm. It was good. It was different because he was a little older than me and you know I really didn't do me and my age because of my past of what them old men did to me so we fell in love we lived together Every time he cranked that truck and I was off, he wanted me in that truck, y'all. I got to a point, a point where, you know, they have, you know how you have jet lag? I had truck lag. I'm like, I don't want to get in this truck. I'm going to stay on ground, you know. And every time I turned around, I was asking my mama to babysit my children. Babysit, babysit. Well, she started talking about it anyway, so I, had to, I know I had to stop. <laughs> so... Mm. Now, you see, I only had two bishops, so I'm trying to make it last as long as I can. <laughs> mm. One weekend, he had to leave to go take a load. And I was going out. And I told him I was going out. Well, I'm going to tell you what happened. Damn, it's almost time to stop. He left like he had to go, you know, he, he left like he had to go and get in his truck and, you know, pick up his truck and all that. Mm -hmm. I went out and had a ball. I needed it. And after, after we left the, the uh, club, we all went out to have uh, breakfast at Denny's, right? Back in them days. That's all we had was Denny's, really. Because IHOP wasn't big like that back then. Honey, I think I pulled up on my street at like 3.30 in the morning. No, 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 when you have a man, you're not supposed to be in them streets that long. But I knew he was going to be gone for the weekend. So, you know, what he don't know ain't going to hurt him. Y'all, the closer I got to my house, I saw I saw that car. My heart was like, God damn it. I got to my driveway. Yep, that, he, yeah, that was his car, that big as shit. I got to tell y'all this. I'm going to cut it down. We'll start again tomorrow. I put my key in the door. Y'all, he had moved the sofa from way over here by the sofa wall. And he put it like right there in front of the door, right? I guess to catch me when I come in. I guess if he was going to be asleep. But so, yeah, lo and behold, I put that key in the door, y'all. I opened up the door. That door hit that couch, that, that couch and he jumped up. And I had to laugh. I'm like, you move, you move this sofa so you can catch me coming in the house. I don't have nothing to hide. It ain't like I was out there doing anything. Just went out for breakfast. Thought it was gone. Mm -hmm. He said, close the door. <laughs> Lock the door, Anita. Guess you thought I wasn't going to be here. Yeah, well, they canceled it and I came on back. I wasn't going to come out there looking for you because I knew you was going to come home. Mm -hmm. 
Now take off all your clothes right now. <laughs> what? You said take off all your clothes. And I'm going to leave it right there. Because some shit happened. I was like, you know, you just a fool. <laughs> I had to laugh though, y'all. It wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad though. Thank God. Anyway, thank y'all for coming back and eating with me. Having your drink with me. All my new hussies that before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And that notification bell. Ding, dong, ding, dong. Don't forget to uh, the comment and 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 share and like and yeah, I'm glad I'm with you guys. So with that said, you know I love. Oh, before I leave, don't forget y'all. You guys can find them on Facebook and you can find them um, where well, you can email them uh, as well. Uh, Again, I'm going to put the information in the description box below. But if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me and I can try to answer any questions that you have. Uh, so with that said, y'all, get your bottle, get your jar, get your jar, get your, uh, a lot of jars. It's a lot of flavors. So I love you guys. There is nothing you can do about it. And with that said, I want you all to have a good night. Okay. Mm -hmm.